Welcome to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Sean Turner, and today we're here today with Creative Cajun Cooking with Jimmy Babbin. We're going to show you a couple new recipes from Gator Tacos to Gator Stir Fry and a couple other things. What we got cooking in the kitchen today, Mr. Jimmy? Well, I'm going to stir fry some vegetables. You know, the doctor get on meat, so I got to lose a little weight. Isn't that the way it works? Well, yeah, but you got low sodium on all your products. That, that helps you. It, it makes that health food taste a lot better. So what are we going to be doing right here? We're going to be filleting some flounder. We're going to cook some shrimp. What else yeah. are we cooking today? Well, we have a little alligator. I, ac I actually have a little uh, fish to fry over there, some, some uh, sakale. Well, I brought some mahi-mahi, so let's get to cooking. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'm ready to eat. And we'll be right back. As members of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, we've all got a job to do. And the more we work together, the more we save. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. At Ascension Granite and Marble, we have over 1,000 slabs of natural stone from around the world. Our shop features both a stunning showroom and design center. Your kitchen or bath project is streamlined from beginning to end because we import, design, manufacture, and install everything we sell. Our machines are the latest in fabrication technology to create your custom look. Our quality is carved in stone. Ascension Granite and Marble, on airline across from the flea market in Prairieville and ascensiongranite.com. Send some Louisiana love anywhere in the United States. We have a gift pack to fit everyone's taste. The pickle dust rub kit, the Cajun cream cheese dip kit, the gator pickles gift pack, the fried pickle okra kit, fried wing and fish kit, fried green tomato kit. It's only available at creativecajuncooking.com. That's not just Cajun, baby. That's Creative Cajun Cooking Shack. Call the Bug Man at 923 Bugs. The Bug Man. We get them when you can't. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Sean Turner, and we're here today with Jimmy Babbin with Creative Cajun Cooking. We got a couple seafood recipes, some healthy recipes, and we're just going to show you how amazing the Creative Cajun Cooking product is. So we have a flounder here that I'm going to show you how to fillet. We're going to use some smoking frying rub and some original swamp dust, and we're going to use it to go over a creamy pasta. So first off, I need to make a cut down the backbone right here, and you're just going to follow that fish all the way down. And you just want to follow the ribs. You're going to feel the ribs on the back of the knife, and you're just going to walk it all the way up. Right about now, you just want to cut it and poke it through the skin. Just follow it all the way down. And that last little bit you just pop off. You got one fillet right there. And you're just gonna do the same on the other side. Just follow it down. You're gonna do the same thing on this side and you're gonna follow this end seam right here. So once you follow that M seam, you're going to start filleting it like you would at the front of the fish or where the eyes are. And once you get that, you're going to have a clean set of bones and you're just going to pop them off the skin for a clean filet. So now we're going to add a little bit of the Cajun garlic sauce. You want to be generous with it because that cream sauce, all your seasoning is going to come from the fish. That should be about enough. We got about, what, a pound of fish? Roughly a pound. We're gonna add a little bit of the magic swamp dust. Then we're gonna add some Creative Cajun cooking smoke and frying rub. Because this has a little bit of heat and we already added some hot sauce, we don't need too much of this. Now you just mix and incorporate. Alrighty. We got this all mixed up. We ready to go to the pan. 
So right now I'm laying the fish down away from me so it don't come back and pop on me. So right now I'm pouring a little bit of heavy cream and I'm just going to scrape everything off the bottom of the pan. Get all this good flavor. And right now we added a little bit of pepper jack cheese. We add a little bit of cheese to our sauce as a thickener and add a little bit of extra flavor. Now for some lanyap, we're going to add a little bit more magic swamp dust. We got we to gotta get you tuned in because you got to go against Bobby Flay eventually. <laughs> huh? Something. I want to fry fish against him. So right now we're going to add the pasta into the sauce. And he's just going to mix it together. Alright. And that is ready to be plated. For our next dish we're going to have Big Jimmy Shrimp. And we'll show you how to do that now. So now for the Big Jimmy Shrimp recipe, we're going to put a little bit of smoke and frying rub. And you just want a little bit because shrimp don't take a whole lot to flavor. And then we're going to add a little bit of the Magic Swamp Dust. Right now I'm just melting a little bit of butter because I like that toasted butter taste. Because we did put a little bit of po' boy bread just to toast that down and all the little crumbs is going to make it taste even better. And once you get that melted down a little bit, you're just going to drop your scrimp. Now we're going to add a little bit of heavy whipping cream just to cool down that pan. Just gonna add a little bit of cheese. That's all I need. Now you see that pretty color with that sauce? You gonna add a little bit of pepper jack cheese? Oh, that's a pretty color with that. Now, just to add a little bit more color, we're gonna put some Cajun garlic sauce made by Creative Cajun Cooking. Now, all we're doing now is just letting the cheese melt and letting the sauce thicken. How we gonna eat that? Fart, maul it, however you feel like eating it, that's how you eat it. They just dig in. And that's how we make Big Jimmy Shrimp here at Creative Cajun Cooking. So Mr. Jimmy, you ready for a taste test? I got my fork. Me too. Hey! So I'm just gonna pop that shrimp off like that. Set it to the side. Grab me a piece of that po' boy bread I just toasted. I don't need that fork no more. Get you some of that po' boy bread. Look at here. I got this figured out. That's pretty good flavor right there. Yeah. But you see that little tail on that there? Keep really hot, and then drizzle this back into that uh -huh. that juice. That sauce. I'm double dipping sometimes. Get it all over your mouth, but it's okay. Huh? Hey, top it up with the pork. Top it up with the pork bread. bread. Thanks for tuning in to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Craig St. Pierre, the proud new owner of DeLone Supermarket here in Santa Monica, Louisiana. We want to be your go-to grocer. We're up early cooking hot breakfasts and fresh donuts every morning. You'll love our daily lunch specials too. We stock those hard to find Louisiana products. We even make our own sausage and boudin with that Louisiana flavor. At DeLone's, we want to be your hometown butcher shop. Choice meats, we cut them. Bulk jambalaya ingredients, we got it. Friendly faces, you know them. Come see us at DeLone's Supermarket. From gas to groceries, 
we got you covered. I hear from many new patients, you know, that either they felt like they were on an assembly line or every time they go to one of these big box stores, they see in a different dentist or their treatment plan's always changing. That's why I feel like it's very important to come in to get a comprehensive exam, get the x-rays, and we discuss with you our findings, and we talk about those options. And we want to, I want to know which one works for you. We offer financing. It's about taking great care of you, and I think we do a great job of it. When the wild calls, the Kubota RTV X 1140 was built to answer. With a proven diesel engine, heavy duty suspension, and traction that grips like a mountain lion, it's everything you need off-road. Engineered around a roomy four-seat cab that converts into an extra long cargo bed, so you can prep for a trophy hunt and haul it home effortlessly. Get your next Kubota at Ascension Equipment. Save more today and mow tomorrow. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, they don't a thing pass, not even a mouse. The children been snoozing good, snug on the floor, cause Grandpa called the bug man, and now the mouse no more. The bug man says, Merry Christmas to all, till I see you some more. If you have a pest that you need gone, call 923 Bugs and say so long. So call the bug man at 923 Bugs. We get them when you can't, and have a happy holiday season. At Ascension Granite and Marble, we have over 1,000 slabs of natural stone from around the world. Our shop features both a stunning showroom and design center. Your kitchen or bath project is streamlined from beginning to end because we import, design, manufacture, and install everything we sell. Our machines are the latest in fabrication technology to create your custom look. Our quality is carved in stone. Ascension Granite and Marble, on airline across from the flea market in Prairieville and ascensiongranite.com. Call the Bug Man at 923 Bugs. The Bug Man. We get them when you can't. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location at Creative Cajun Cooking with Jimmy Babbin, of course. And earlier in the show, my son Sean was here and he was doing some cream sauce type recipes. Yeah. One over pasta, one over some po' boy bread that was amazing. And we have more seafood recipes coming up. Now, yours are a little healthier. Yeah, I, well, the old doctor got on me. <coughs> Look how much weight I don't lost. I don't I stick way out. It's all good, man. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. So what we're using today um, is alligator meat. Now, why alligator meat? It's, it's a seafood. Well, it's a seafood, but also it is really, really low in cholesterol. Now, you know, alligator's not real cheap, but it's actually one of the best proteins for you. And I don't want to say alligator too loud. That's my friend running around out here in the river. <laughs> yeah, but we got this from that was packaged as Gator World uh, Gator Meat. We didn't go out in the swamp and you yeah, know, yeah. I don't right. have any tags. You ain't got any tags. Farm, <laughs> farm raised, farm, farm raised, farm raised, very clean, very good meat. So all we have to do is just cut it in bite-sized pieces, season it, and right. toss it with some veggies, and it's going to be fantastic. See, that's a two-biter. I can slice that in two. You know, to be good. Then I go across the grain. You see the grain goes like that. I go across the grain and make it a little more tender to chew on. You know, you can always tell a gator. You just can't tell him much. <laughs> yeah, and people are gonna ask the question, why do I separate all this stuff? Because everything has a little different cook time. And you want your stuff done all at once, right? At the end, but it goes in at different stages. So think about that for a little while. You know, in French, they call that mise en place. Everything in its place. Before you start doing Before it. Before you start. Mise en place. Mise en place. That's what they, they teach you at cooking school. Mise en place. We'll do a shroom. I got them all nice and clean for you. You all right, girl. I try. I left the stems, too. Some people like stems, some people don't. I'll do a stem. All right, Jimmy. Look at this beautiful mise en place that you have going on. You got your... Your avocado oil, your dust, your rug, your hot sauce, your alligator all chopped up, all your veggies chopped up. And you know I'm going to light a fire. <laughs> That's right. We, we're going to start out with a little avocado oil in that. We'll probably have to add some a little later on, but we'll start it out with some to uh, keep the stuff stirred around in the skillet. 
health food, man. It can't, can't go wrong with health food. And the first thing we're going to have to cook down is onions. That takes a little bit longer to cook. Then we're going to do the mushrooms. That takes about as long as the onions, because the onions, I ain't cooking them all apart. You know what I mean? Then we're going to add a little smoke and frying rub by Creative Cage and Cook It. Then I put my little logo right there on the front. Then I said, smoke and frying rub, like a wire. So we're going to put a little light sprinkle of that. It don't take much. Then we're going to do some dust. Magic swamp dust. The absolute necessity of cooking. In fact, you put a pinch of that between lip and gum, sip on long neck. It's not hot like that rub is, so we ain't we ain't gonna worry about loading it up. Sprinkle a little of this garlic salt, Cajun garlic salt that adds a little extra flavor. To it. It's not a lot of heat. There's very little heat. Yeah, it's but, a medium sauce. But boy, it is some kind of good. So the next thing we're going to add is these carrots. That takes a little longer to cook, too. A little carrots. Just dump them right in there. Oop, we got it done. And we want the carrots, so it's still got a little crunch to it, you know? So just kind of let it float around for a while. Just start getting tenderized. So while the carrots are getting that thing done, I'm going to dump this uh, yellow squash in there. I, I dice them up a little bit thicker, yeah, thicker. Is that mm -hmm. right, thicker? Mm -hmm. So it take a little bit longer for them to cook. But I like them carrots good. And then again, you want you want it so it's good and kind of got a little crunch to it, you know. Keep all this stuff incorporated. Then we're gonna put a little gator meat in there. Good. See the, how the squash is starting to turn a little bit right there. It don't take long. This gator don't take long to cook either. So I'm going to stir that up in there. And you see that gator just about done? Let's, let's throw some snow pea pods amongst that. This is an eyeball thing. You know, there ain't no specific time. It's kind of look at it and see what's getting done next. You see that gator kind of turning white like that? They're getting cooked. They ain't far off. You know, this ain't like cooking a jambalaya where you stand there with a paddle and you got time to drink a six pack by the time it's finished, right? Mm. And you get, you're gonna do good drinking one beer while you're cooking this, mm. right? The next thing is gonna go in here. You ain't gotta put all that broccoli in there. You don't need all that broccoli in there? <laughs> I got right. plenty of broccoli, plenty. All right, you ain't, that's the only color you don't like, broccoli. That's right. <laughs> until, until you eat it this way, they'll be throwing rocks at them. Uh, uh. Huh? You can come eat all that raw broccoli. That's like when I do swamp grits, drive by the Waffle House, throw rocks at them. Cool. That stuff tastes so good. That's how it's made. A little lime juice stuff. And I'm gonna turn the fire off. And we're gonna let that stuff, how Wendy call that, we're gonna let it marry. Okay, Jimmy, our next recipe, actually, Sean wanted to do this, but he had to hurry up and go to work. But Mama said she could handle it. Yeah. And we're going to make some gator tacos. Wait a minute, he had to go to work, but really, we don't get part of his check. What's the no, problem? I know. Huh? You think I get a commission? We got a problem with this. Huh? Right, right. Yeah. He's cooking for other people now. All right, so what we have is more of the alligator that's cut into little bite-sized pieces. Yeah. And we're going to do an egg wash and, of course, the gator wing batter. And that's what's so good about this stuff is you don't have to add any seasoning to the gator or whatever. It's all right. All in this. So it's boop, boop, and in the oil. Done deal. Yeah. Right? And you can also use this for shrimp or even veggies or, or whatever. We probably won't need but one bag for this little bit of stuff. Nothing but a thing. Yeah, pour a little that half and half in there. Get rid of that. Let me do a little dabbling in here. Let me pour the alligator up in here and let it start doing its thing. Hanging out with the uh, milk and eggs. And they'll kind of soak up in there. All right, Jimmy, you got the wet hand, dry hand? 
hand thing on? Wet hand, dry hand, that's it. Try to conserve a little wing batter. Why are you working on that? I'm gonna make this spicy mayonnaise real quick. Hold your head. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what's going on our coleslaw. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of lime because that's such a good flavor with all of these flavors. You don't need much, just a little bit. And for some heat, since it's spicy, Cajun garlic sauce. But now that's a medium sauce, so it's not gonna burn you out. If you want extra heat, you can then smoke and fry and rub. And of course, just a little bit of dust. That's because it makes everything taste good. And you can either soak your coleslaw in it or just put it on top of the shredded cabbage. There you go. Got a fry some alligator. Huh? You like fried alligator? Yeah. I like this alligator. All right. That's a good thing. Good thing to have some here just shortly. All right. Set that little grill down the grease and say, get it on. Okay, the alligator. So just toss that fried gator with the spicy sauce and veggies on a hot tortilla and you're in business. We'll be right back with more on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Renee is not an influencer. She's more of a groundbreaker. Just look at the way she's reshaping and reimagining her four-acre slice of heaven. It's not hard to tell she's the real deal. Renee runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor because out here, you can't fake a job well done. Nothing runs like a deer. At Ascension Equipment, save more today and mow tomorrow. Cajun Catch Seafood Market and Deli in Gonzales is your local source for crawfish, wild-caught fish, crabs, and shrimp on ice and right out the boiler. Cajun Catch Deli is now open every weekday until 7 p.m., serving home-style Cajun favorites, overstuffed po'boys, daily lunch specials, and crispy, crunchy fried chicken. Everybody knows if you want it boiled, fried, or stewed, come on down to Cajun Catch Seafood on Ori's Roth next to the fire station in Gonzales. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, they don't a thing pass, not even a mouse. The children been snoozing good, snug on the floor, cause Grandpa called the bug man, and now the mouse no more. The bug man says, Merry Christmas to all, till I see you some more. If you have a pest that you need gone, call 923 Bugs and say so long. So call the bug man at 923 Bugs. We get them when you can't. And have a happy holiday season. Premium beef. Welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location, of course, with Jimmy Babbitt at Creative Cajun Cooking on the beautiful Diversion Canal. And next, we are going to do pina colada bread pudding. Now, what do you need for that? We're going to have to clean all this up. But you're gonna have pineapple, coconut, and bread. And egg. And egg and sugar and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So we'll get all that together and you're gonna show us how to do it, right? That's it. Pina colada bread pudding is one of the top requested desserts that I have at Creative Cajun Cooking. And it's all homemade right here. We have it for the corporate, weddings, and family reunion type functions that we cater. You got to break an egg. A little chicken didn't mind. Hey, you know, it's all about a little sweetness. You're gonna throw a little bit of sweetness in there. And then you're gonna put some milk in there. Of course, this is half and half. That food with me, I'll, I'll put that heavy whipping cream too. I got this whisk. Help mix all this stuff up. Now we go to that incorporation thing again. Put some of that crushed pineapple in there. Get people all excited with crushed pineapple. Then I got this uh, shredded coconut in the, the sweetness.
Now, we've got that all incorporated. We're going to throw a little bit of bread in there. The way you do the bread, kind of break it up a little bit. You can get that day-old bread or something at the store. You can have a loaf of bread you don't want to eat no more. You put it in the freezer. You know, take them out of the freezer when you're ready to make bread pudding. Leftover bread works great. You get all this stuff mixed up in there. The reason I didn't pour all the, the milk in there or cream in there first because I don't never know what a consistency exactly is going to be. And we need to have a good consistency of look, liquidity. Is that what you call it? Consistency. Huh? Five dollar work. So that could use a little bit more. Not a drastic amount. And you wait till you get that mixed up before you add the, the milk or cream to it. And that way it uh, blends in a whole lot better. Now for the sauce. So here's your sauce. Some of the same things you put in, in that uh, bread pudding. We're going to make a sauce to go over the top. Now, now don't fuss at me, but it's going to be so good. So you had half a stick of melted butter. That was half a stick of melted butter. A half a can of crushed pineapple. That was, that was probably a little less than a half of a can of crushed pineapple. Then we're going to put a little less than half of a can of this coconut. Then we're going to heat that up. We're get ready to put it on the bread pudding. We've got to finish break, baking it off first. All right. Shove these little darlings up in here. One more. What temperature and how long? 350. And that's going to start rising. It'll, you, it'll come up maybe a half an inch and start kind of halfway browning. But you don't want to completely cook it off because you want it still moist in there. You don't want it dry. So it's, a, it's an eyeball thing. It hinges on the size of the pan, the, the type of oven, which is convection oven, is going to run a lot faster you know, than what your conventional oven in the house would be. We want pudding, not turning it back into bread. Yeah, we're, we're cooking pudding. We're not turning it back into bread. Get this recipe, pina colada bread pudding, at creativecajuncooking.com. All right, Jimmy. We've been cooking all day, dude. You wear me out, girl. I know. We do that. Well, I come over and I say, okay, we're just going to cook a little bit. Yeah. And then we cook a lot. <laughs> Next thing you know, you got a 10-course meal. I'm telling you. What? Everything from uh, pasta to tacos to bread pudding. So, yeah. um, for these recipes, you can go to our website at theoutdoorkitchenshow.com. We'll have all the recipes there where um, you can check them out. We'll also have them on your website at creativecajuncooking.com. And bonus, you can also shop for all of Jimmy's products. Now we use a lot of Cajun garlic sauce. We use the gator wing batter. We use magic swamp dust, smoke and fry and rub. Lots of different things. And of course, you can find it all on your website. Um, and you can find it at local stores around Louisiana as well. So, you got the kitchen clean. I know. It's right. okay. That's, that's the hard part. I'm um, a dishwasher food. That's right. So for all of this, check out the website, and we'll see you next time here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show.